Yo, what's up guys, it's Suraj from Tech Devoted and welcome to the second episode of Camera Rig Showdown, a series where I feature your camera setups. If this is your first time watching this series or if you want to be featured on one of the upcoming episodes, check out the first link in the description. It's got all the information you need. So yeah, check that out if you're interested. But without wasting any more time, let's get to the setups for episode number two. Our first submission today comes from Pranam, who is a freelance photographer based in Karnataka. The core of his setup is the Sony a7 III. As for lenses, he's using two variety of lenses. He's got a couple of automatic lenses and he has a couple of manual vintage lenses. On the automatic side of things, he has the Tamron 28 to 75 f2.8 super versatile lens and he has a Samyang 135 f2 for that beautiful, beautiful compression. On the vintage side of things, he has a Helios 58 f2. Again, beautiful lens. In fact, I got one myself recently. Haven't had the chance to use it yet, but yeah, I've heard great things about it. Apart from that, he has the Super Takumar 55 F2 and an Auto Pro Master 28 2.8. I'm actually, I'm actually really curious at this point. Uh, tell me where you got these lenses from because according to your email, you've only had the camera for a little while. And obviously here in India, we don't have the culture of uh, thrift stores or garage sales. So pretty much the only source for vintage gear that I know as of now is eBay. So let me know if that's where you bought these lenses from as well. I'm just genuinely curious. I'm just genuinely curious uh, to adapt these lenses to his a7 III. He uses a Fotasi M42 to E mount adapter. It's not in this picture, but he has mentioned it as part of his gear. He also uses a couple of filters. The first one being a three stop to 10 stop variable ND filter from a brand named Hyder. And he also has a circular polarizer from the Amazon Basics filter collection. Finally, he's also showing off his white balance card in this picture from a brand named Onwink, Anwink. But yeah, overall, this is a very solid setup. I mean, he's hitting almost every single popular focal length you can think of. So you can shoot just about anything with the setup from landscape to portraits to travel to street. Just about anything you can think of now. It wasn't always this nice and convenient for him. In his email, Pranam has mentioned that up until March of this year, most of his images were made with a OnePlus 5T. It's after that that his father bought him this Sony a7 III and the kit you're seeing. But then shortly after that happened, Pranam lost his father due to tuberculosis meningitis. And he says that one of his biggest regrets is the fact that he could not even make an image of his dad with this new camera because he used to live away from home and he still uh, lives away from home. Now, Pranam, I'm extremely sorry for your loss. Uh, in fact, props to you for getting back up on your feet so fast. Uh, I know for a fact your father would be proud of the images you're making. So please keep creating and keep inspiring. I absolutely love your setup. I also like the photos you've sent in. I really like the way you grade. I like your sense of composition. So overall, super nice setup, super sweet. Uh, thank you for sending your submission and uh, yeah, keep creating. If you guys want to follow Pranam or anybody else I talk about today, check out the description. It has everybody's social media links. All right, our next setup is unlike any of the four setups that have been featured on the series so far. It is a film camera setup from Falgun KP, who is a content creator based in Kurg. The core of his setup is a 1979 Olympus OM-10. He says that this camera is from his, was given to him by his dad, uh, who also used to shoot film and in fact process film in his own darkroom. He says this camera has been to a lot of places from London to Gambia. It's been to a lot of family functions. It's been in wildlife areas. It's been in zoos. It's been to hip hop battles and so many other places like that. So this camera has seen a lot of things. As for lenses, he is rocking a Zuiko 50mm 1.8 and a Tamron 70 to 210 f4.5 to 5.6. He also has a flash, which is the national PE 145. Now I'm not going to pretend I know a lot about film cameras because honestly I do not, but it is something that I've been meaning to uh, play with for a long time now. In fact, I recently had the chance to play with a film camera on my recent Goa trip. Shout out to my good friend Rukmini, uh, title credits. Uh, I actually had the chance to shoot about 30 pictures, but I only ended up making three because it was such a nerve wracking experience. I mean, it was, it is, it's incredibly hard to get yourself to make an image with on a film camera because you know, it's limited and you spend like so much more time, uh, trying to come up with an image and more often than not, you just end up not clicking because you think it's going to be a waste of film. So that's exactly what happened to me when, 
you know, I try to shoot on film. Let me know if you guys want to see Falgun on the channel. Uh, I've talked to him about this and maybe we could do a video about film cameras, maybe like a beginner's guide or a, a dummy's guide to film cameras or something like that. I know I would learn a lot. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Uh, he says that one of the best experiences he's had is while shooting street portraits when he came across a bunch of autoballers. He asked them if he could take a picture and at first they refused but then when he actually showed them that he was shooting on an analog camera, they were extremely happy and they let him click the picture. In fact, that is one of my favorite pictures that he sent as part of his work. So, uh, good work man. Uh, I really like uh, what you're doing here and uh, super clean, super awesome setup. Uh, thank you for sending a submission. Oh, he also says that his favorite film stocks uh, are the Kodak Portra series and the Fuji Pro 400H. So. Yeah. All right, our next and final submission for the episode comes from somebody you may already follow. Anubhav Roy is a film student, content creator, and an aspiring cinematographer from Delhi. The core of his setup is the Sony A6300, which is attached to a small rig gauge. As for lenses, he is rocking the standard 16 to 50 kit lens, and he also has the mighty, the OG. Uh, Sigma 1835 1.8, which is attached to his camera with the help of a Sigma MC11 adapter. As for his audio recording needs, he uses a Rode Video Micro and a Zoom H4n Pro. Uh, Anubhav also likes to shoot things from in the air. To make that happen, he uses a DJI Mavic Air. And again, when he's shooting on the ground, he uses either his Manfrotto smartphone tripod or a Tarion Flexi tripod. I have not heard of this brand before, but Judging by the image, it looks like one of those tripods that extends to like a considerable height, but then when it's compressed, it is as small as it looks in this picture. I'm not entirely sure, it's just, you know, first impression, but I'm gonna check it out for sure. So yeah, overall a pretty neat setup. He's also thrown in his MacBook here in the picture, which is the 2017 15 inch MacBook Pro. It's got a couple of stickers on it, uh, the AR Anubhav Roy logo, brand logo sticker, and another sticker of what looks like a Japanese dude with blue hair who's sticking out his tongue. I, I honestly, I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what this sticker is. If any of you know, recognize this sticker, tell me in the comments. Uh, it's not Anubhav for sure though. I've met Anubhav in person and he does not have blue hair. So, but yeah, uh, super uh, straightforward and to the point setup from Anubhav here. He says he's been using this exact, these exact pieces of equipment to create content for his channel for about three years now and he says he doesn't require any upgrades. It is insane what we can all achieve in 2019 with uh, just with just a few tools at our disposal. So yeah and above, I completely agree with you. Thank you for sharing your setup. If you guys want to follow again uh, any of these people, check out the first links, uh, check out the links in the description. And uh, yeah, that brings us to the end of episode number two of Camera Rig Showdown. If you enjoyed watching it or if you found it helpful, give it a like. If you did not, vote it down, let me know in the comments why you didn't like it. If, you're going to, if you want to get featured on the next episode, again, check out the first link in the description. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. It's been Suraj. Thanks so much for watching. Take it easy and stay devoted. Whew! I can finally sleep.